It's a big problem. Um, the U.S. probably spends about $50 billion a year on surgery and treatments for lower back pain alone. The one in my left hand is the normal situation, and the one in my right hand here is where the intervertebral disc has herniated. The most common treatment, which is done in about 95% of the cases, they'll go in and they'll simply remove the entire intervertebral disc, discard it, and let the two vertebrae fuse together. Let's say that person says, no, I, I don't want to afford um, the loss of flexibility here. I would like to keep that. So that's where our research comes in. We can take cells from a simple uh, Q-tip swab of the inside of your mouth, a little scrape of your skin. We can come over here and grow them in culture. Those cells have the potential to become any cell type in the body. But what we're interested here is differentiating those cells into the two cell types that we need, the annulus fibrosis, the inner nucleus propulsus. We are taking um, the person that's suffering their own cells so that we can recreate this here in the laboratory. And when it comes time for your surgery, your surgeon will go in and completely remove the damaged intervertebral disc but then he'll reach over and pick up the one that we've created in the laboratory that's been designed specifically for you, the exact size, the exact shape, um, and he'll re-implant it in between the two vertebral bodies to give you back um, your intervertebral disc. It's in perfect condition um, and you will maintain full flexibility. That's the day-to-day the -day research that we're doing in the laboratory right now.